navigate your Google Contacts. In training, I find one of the most overlooked applications across the Google Workspace is Contacts. And there's a lot to unpack in this little application. Whether you use it as a tool to capture thoughtful details about clients, contractors or colleagues, or perhaps you use the power combo of Gmail and contacts to undertake outreach. This humble little app has your back. Today, we're going to look at a lesser known function within contacts, which is delegating your contacts. Firstly, you must have contact sharing turned on in your organization. Contact your administrator if this is not available to you. Next, your delegate user must be from the same domain or organization, as contacts cannot be delegated outside your org or domain. To delegate, you must be signed into your work or school account. Delegated users will only be able to access these contacts when signed in. You and your delegated user or users must access the contacts on a computer. Steps to delegate and to access are simply not available on mobile devices. And for your peace of mind, contact delegation does not give your delegated user any access to your email account or the emails between you and your contact. Why might you delegate your contacts? There are a number of good reasons. Perhaps you wish to allow another person to add or maintain your contacts. One might delegate to an assistant to maintain contacts over time or delegate to an account manager for a quick update of information on important clients. Delegate contacts to a team of people, perhaps to create a centralised contact book, which is maintained and updated by all. Or perhaps you need to hand over contacts for a short period of time. For example, handing over contract or contact details whilst you're on parental leave, delegating stakeholder information to a colleague during a project, or simply making sure that access is available while you are enjoying two weeks on a beach in Portugal. How do we delegate to users? Process is quite simple. To begin the delegation process, you must be in the contacts application, which you can access from contacts.google.com or from the Waffle. In the context application, click the settings icon and select delegate access. Then select invite delegate. Click on suggested colleagues or type a colleague's name or email address. At this point, you can add up to 25 delegates separated by a comma. Google will offer a message box at this point. This allows you to customize the email notification that is sent to your colleague perhaps to give context. Once complete, click send. Your delegate will appear in the delegate access box and you can continue to add delegates or simply click done. Your colleague will receive an invite to edit your contacts. Clicking open will relocate the user in their contacts application. Where on the left-hand side of the interface, the delegated contacts will be visible. Clicking on your name will reveal your contact directory. A notice at the top of the directory will confirm that these contacts are delegated from you. Now that the delegated user can see your contacts, let's explore what other functionality is available. Editing contacts. By clicking on a contact, the contact card will open. Select edit to see and edit all available fields. Here I can add phone numbers, edit roles, add notes and much more in the edit fields. Make sure to click save before navigating away from the contact card to ensure your edit is saved. Delete a contact. Selecting and hovering over a contact will reveal the hot dog menu on the left hand side of the interface. Access the menu and you will see the delete icon available at the bottom. Click delete and a confirmation pop-up will open. Confirm the action by clicking delete. If a delegated user has deleted a contact, 
These are recoverable from the contacts bin. Select the bin label and click Recover to return the record to your contacts. As with many Google applications, you have a 30-day recovery window. Create a contact. Your delegated user can create a contact too. This takes a little care. To create a contact in a delegated contact directory, the user must have that directory selected and open in the interface. If they do not, they will create a contact, but it will be in their personal directory. Click the Create button, select Create a contact to open a new contact card and fill it in. You may have noticed previously the option to create multiple contacts. This is a quick add function that allows for entry of a name and an email for a contact separated by commas to create multiple contacts. Creating a single contact allows for entry of much more detail. Once complete, click Save. I can see the contact created here in my delegate contact and the directory owner can see the record in their contacts. Search contact. Like creating a contact, caution is required when searching for a contact. Using the search function while looking at your own directory will not show results from the delegated contact directory. Once the delegated directory is selected, your results will populate. In this, I'm not aware of the contact's name, but I need a plumber. Notice here there are three results, none of which have plumber in their name. As I click through each contact, I can see Adelaide has met the criteria as she works for a company called Southside Plumbers. Adele's job title is plumber and Alberta simply has a note on her file that she is a plumber. Each of the records has been successfully recalled. Now, the delegated functionality is not without its limitations. To begin with, the delegation is an all or nothing function. Your delegated users can see all of your contacts and there is currently no way to delegate at a granular level. Delegating to users is on an individual basis and it's not yet possible to delegate and it's not yet possible to delegate to a Google group. However, they have made this easier recently by allowing for 25 delegations in one action, but there still is a limit to bulk contact sharing. When using autocomplete for contacts in the wider workspace environment, you will still only be presented with contacts from your own directory and delegate contacts will not appear in your apps bar on the right of the application. In order to utilize delegated contacts, you need to access these in the contacts web application and use the icons on the contact card. Lastly, edit function is limited. Delegated contact managers cannot use some of the quick maintenance functions such as dedupe, import or export. The application appears to tease the import function by offering the opportunity to upload a CSV, but then the function cannot complete. Delegated access also does not extend to the bin for those contacts, so delegated users cannot recover contacts deleted in error. We are awaiting more functionality here around label management, which will allow delegated contacts to add, edit and delete contact labels, which I think will really step up this functionality. I promise that there was much to unpack in this little app, and there is. There's much to like, there's much that needs improvement, but there's definitely some solid use cases in here. I personally think it's a no-brainer if you're working in an executive or a PA role that you receive delegated contacts from whomever you're working with. This would allow you to curate your contacts together. And there is a definite case for delegating contacts from a shared mailbox. For example, a sales team, a marketing team, or even a building management team. The list goes on. Let us know how you get on with this function. Perhaps there's a way you're using it that we haven't even thought of. Let us know in the comments below. And until next week, we'll see you then.